All right, I'm out here with Greta. Greta is working with Nugget. Greta has never worked with Nugget before, but I am going to talk about natural horsemanship. I'm going to talk about gaining a horse's respect. So we've got lots of pictures of this really fabulous horse under saddle. We know he's, you know, uh, got a great head on his shoulders and not looking to try you out. But I got. I want to ask my viewing audience, why should a horse respect you? Okay, we need to give the horse a reason besides, hey, I'm a nice guy, you know, and I'm feeding you. But horses really don't think that way. There's a lot of dogs barking in the background. So Greta right now is making, uh, uh, there's stuff falling off of the tree. Uh, dogs are really going crazy in the background. There's the leaves falling. But she is making the horse yield to the front end. Okay. Greta says that when you get, make the horse move its feet, it's... What is it about moving the feet, Greta? Every time you move a horse's feet, forwards, backwards, left or right, you make them think. So the more you can get control of their feet, the more we get control of their mind. Mm -hmm. And when you got control of their mind, then you got a nice partner that respects you and is willing to work for you. And it's going to show up so much better under saddle. That's where I said, why groundwork? You do the groundwork, you're going to see a completely different respectful partner under saddle that's willing to work for you harder, try harder. They are less spooky. They're more controllable. Look, I've just started this horse. I've been working with him for 10 minutes. I just put him through seven different exercises for the first time. And he looks like he ate a piece of humble pie. <laughs> he's just standing there. He's got his head down. He's relaxed. He's, he, and he's doing great. He's got a lot of commotion here. And that just gets him paying attention and listening to you. And he's not worried about anything else going on around him. So they say the more we get him to pay attention to us, the less they're going to hurt us and respect our space. I don't want a horse plowing over me, running over me, kicking me, biting me, rearing up, bucking. So many issues go away with just groundwork. Okay. So if I get a new horse in, it's minimum 10 days groundwork before I even ride them. And I usually have no issues when we go to riding. Okay. Greta, what's your phone number? 931 931 582 582 8424 8424 You got a web page? www.doubletwinfarm.com www.doubletwinfarm.com I'm Melissa Bailey and my number is 540 303-0569 all right, right now she's making him yield the, 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 the front end. This is the first time he's been taught that. Not this the is the first time that he's been taught this. He did perfect. Okay. Great job. All right.